And good morning, everybody. It's time now for Putnam County Today here on 94.3 WREP. With us, Judy Miller with the Putnam County Emergency Food Pantry. And others. And others <laughs> now, yes. Um, Want to quickly talk about an uh, event coming up at the end of the week, right? Yes. Um, Thursday the 19th at the Armory, which is at the corner of Chatillon and North Arlington. Gleaners is coming down from Indianapolis with a truckload of food and it's going to be available for anyone that's 55 years old and older and a resident of Putnam County. That's the only two requirements. You do have to bring your ID and you have to bring sacks or boxes to put the food in. Okay. This is the second giveaway that they have done and it's going to be an ongoing um, thing with gleaners uh, and I'm working with them uh, seems like I can't get away from giving away food. Well, hey, that's okay. Uh, but anyway, um, at this point, I do not know when the next one will be. Uh, that will be decided probably Thursday. Um, there has to be a contract made with the Armory and it has to work out with them. But uh, it's going to work out, I think, really well for it to be held at the Armory. Um, I can't tell you what you're going to get but I can give you an idea of what you'll get. You will, prob in all probability, you will get some kind of fresh vegetables. You will get frozen meat. You will get some canned vegetables and probably some fruit of some sort. Then there are going to be a table of miscellaneous items and that could be anything from ketchup to beans to tomatoes to more corn and green beans whatever is on the table. You will be told at that point how many of each thing um, of the items that you can have. So it might be three pieces of meat, it might be six cans of this. It just all depends on what they have uh, to bring down. It's never going to be the same. Last month they had really nice meats. Um, they had some turkeys and I, it was kind of funny because they put it out there and the first one in line, can, they can take what they want. And somebody made the comment, well, there's only one of them and they took a turkey. Well, that's just the way it is. Yep. Um, but it's a nice giveaway. It's free and uh, please, if you're 55 years old and older, bring your box, your sacks, your ID and come out and get this free food because it's well worth it. Um, we have uh, uh, flyers out at different places in town, uh, so you may have seen it. Uh, there was an article in the banner and yep. probably will be uh, an update on it tomorrow uh, as a reminder. So we look forward to seeing you. Um, registration starts at 10. The food giveaway will start somewhere uh, real close to 11 and uh, we will probably be done giving it away by 12.30. So if you want your food, get out there between 10 and, I would say, 10 and noon. Now, in a story we did, uh, I think, towards the end of last week, you guys were looking for volunteers to help you, too. Do you still need those? No, I don't need any more. I've, okay. got, I've got plenty now. But if you would like your name on the list to be called to help, um, contact me at 721-6228 uh, so I can make a list. Okay. And um, with your phone number and everything so that we can contact you. The one thing, one person's, how do I want to say this? The ideal help would be go. about four more men. Okay. Need some help lifting. <laughs> I need some help lifting. So if there's any men out there that want to help, that's fine. If you're 55 and older and you want to help, that's fine. You can still get food. They don't stop you from getting the food. Um, you just, uh, you can't get it at the beginning. They will work you in during the time that it's given away. Um, I will say I got some nice things for me um, last time and uh, uh, they had pies they gave away and it was, oh, they were delicious. Everybody likes pie. Everybody likes pie. Well, let's switch gears a little bit and uh, talk about the regular Putnam County Food Pantry that's okay. open throughout the uh, weeks here in the county. Okay. And real quickly, they're always in need. What do they need the, now? Right now, we could use uh, large cans of fruit. We could use pork and beans. 
we could use um, green beans and corn. The, they're getting low. We The numbers are way up, so the corn and green beans is getting low. Um, we could use noodles and dry beans. Um, oatmeal. People are asking for oatmeal, so oatmeal would be a, a good thing. The small small round cans of or you know packages of oatmeal would be good. Um, they also uh, we found that if we have um, pancake mix and syrup, they like that. Yeah. So it, it is something different than the the dry cereal that we mostly use. Um, canned tuna and canned meats, the hash, um, canned chicken and dumplings or chicken and noodles and the um, beef stew. Um, we don't have very much of that and that's something that uh, we get very little of but the people that get it, they'll come back and say, you know, can I trade this for that? Well, if you don't have it, you can't trade. And right. I don't, we don't trade very often. Right. Um, but um, sometimes the opportunity is there that we can. Um, I would like to give a shout out to all these. They have been so good to us. And uh, last week they gave us 18 dozen loaves of bread. Wow. And uh, the freezers are full. So we've got bread and uh, we're real thankful for that. And they are really good to us. All right. And of course, I want to remind folks too, you know, I know it's winter weather right now, but spring's right around the corner. People start planting gardens. Always a good idea to buy an extra couple of tomato plants, that's, plant a little extra for the food pantry. That's right? right. We'd love to have tomatoes, onions, potatoes, carrots. Um, they they love the fresh fresh food um, and it, it, it goes out really fast, right. really fast. Um, as most of you know, I've stepped back from a lot of the food pantry work. I am there. Seems like I'm there more than I want to be sometimes, but um, it's it's running pretty smooth. And um, come and come and get your food and, and meet the people that are there. Um, it's it's working. All right. Well, good. Well, Judy, real quickly, if somebody wants to send in a monetary donation, where can they do that? Post Office Box 423, Greencastle 46135. Make the checks payable to Putnam County Emergency Food Pantry, or you can abbreviate it. Um, doesn't have to be all written out. Um, monetary, or the food items, um, call me if you can't get in there on Monday or Tuesday to leave it. Um, and I or someone will meet you down there. Um, we've got um, food we're sorting today from one of the churches, and it's a nice donation. But, uh, you know, we were closed today, so tomorrow probably about everything that came in yesterday is going to go out. So right. um, it's a constant flow. And uh, we sent out, we broke our record uh, about uh, three or four weeks ago, and we had 285 people through the, through there in one day, in three hours, and that kept us really hopping. Yeah. And I was there that day. And it was um, it was a good day, but uh, we sure did send out a lot of food. All right. Well, Judy, thanks for being with us. We'll get you back on, get this uh, updated again okay. here the next time right. we have one. And of course, we want to remind folks that anytime they want to do a donation, they can just drop it off or give you a call, right? Right. Alright, sounds okay. good. Don't forget, if you're a nonprofit group or community organization, you'd like some free airtime here on WREB, you too can be a part of Putnam County today. Give us a call at 653 9717.